Oh, hello again. Welcome to part two. So now that you've created your own cam, again, this is an example. This is the Accenture cam. Make your own. We are going to take this and put it on Inventor. So here's how you do that. You're going to use your um, snipping tool right here. If you can't find it, hit that and use the snipping tool. If you're using another program, whatever screen capturing uh, program that you use, I'm going to highlight or uh, drag over this right here and save it. I'm gonna save it to my desktop real fast and just call it example. I need to replace it. All right, now let's open up Inventor. Again, we're making a part. We're going to go to start sketch. Now I'm gonna throw it on the XY plane. And then right here, grab that image that we just made I'm going to put it right on the origin. I only need one of them, so I'm going to hit escape. And now you can see, I'm going to zoom in. Okay. So since you probably have a different shape than mine because you're making your own, grab that point and you are going to add, and, and it's good if you zoom in, and you're going to put points all over the line. And then we're going to put one right in the middle. Use this spline tool. I don't know that you guys have used this before. So I'm going to click on the down arrow on the line and hit spline. And then I'm just going to play connect the dots. Right, there we go I'm going to uh, grab a circle and put that in the middle there I'm gonna make that um, whatever size you need to hit finish sketch extrude it hit OK and you should have your cam all created. The next thing you're going to want to do is add it to your assembly. Please show your teacher your great work. Again, please make your own. Don't make one of the eccentric cams or pair cams that we've already made. Uh, please show your teacher. Good job.